हाई एम डॉक्टर सुरचला साइंटिफिक डायरेक्टर विद जीवा फर्टिलिटी सेंटर्स ए एम एच और एंटी मलेरियन हार्मोन इज प्रोड्यूस बाय द स्मॉल फॉलिकल्स इन वुमेन्स ओवरीज इट रिफ्लेक्ट्स द ओवर इन रिजर्व और हाउ मेनी एग्स आर लेफ्ट इन इट्स नॉट अ नंबर बट जनरली अकॉर्डिंग टू एज वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ ए एम एच एंड डिपेंडिंग ऑन दैट वी एज्यूम द ओवर इन रिजर्व ऑफकोर्स इट इज क्लैरिफाइड विद इन अल्ट्रासाउंड ऑल्सो नॉर्मल रेंज इज अराउंड वन टू थ्री पॉइंट फाइव एन जी nanogram per milliliter and it varies by the lab high mh is generally about 4 to 5 nanogram per milliliter now remember more eggs doesn't always mean better fertility you have to not correlate the high mh with a better fertility potential we as definitely more number of eggs what does high amh mean in most cases high amh is linked with a condition called pcos polycystic ovarian syndrome it is a hormonal imbalance where a woman may have irregular or absent periods and ovulation which is no, no release of eggs higher male hormone levels like androgens multiple small uh, follicles seen on ultrasound and these follicles produce excess amh which is why the levels go up so although a woman may have plenty of eggs she may not be ovulating and that's where the fertility problem lies how does high amh affect fertility well ovulation issues high mh often reflects many small follicles stuck in early growth stage so the dominant follicle doesn't mature and ovulation fails hormonal imbalance also occurs high mh is often accompanied by high lh and androgens which disrupt ovulation there is a risk of ohs as an ivf women with high amh may over respond to fertility medicines uh, putting them at a uh, risk of ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome or ohss which is a potentially serious complication of of ivf so how do we diagnose If a woman has high AMH we typically check for clinical signs of PCOS which are irregular periods acne hair growth do a pelvic ultrasound to count follicles evaluate insulin resistance and hormonal profile also treatment options are many especially for women with high AMH lifestyle management especially important for overweight or insulin resistant women with PCOS a weight loss of just 5 to 10% can restore ovulation naturally in many cases also ovulation induction is a good option letrozole is usually the first line treatment clomiphene citrate is another option as well monitoring is very critical as these women can develop multiple follicles metformin is also a good medication for those with insulin resistance metformin improves insulin sensitivity and can support regular ovulation ivf is another option it is very effective in women who do not respond to medications but stimulation protocols must be adjusted we use low dose gonadotropin sometimes a gnrh antagonist protocol with the agonist trigger to prevent ohs is mild or natural cycle ivf is also a good option for these women who have a high risk of hyper response if you wish to understand more about this please feel free to contact us thank you